Pero justo a las 8 vino, gracias a Dios. Sí. Hello. Hello, hello teacher. teacher. Hello, everybody. Hey, hello. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. Everybody. How are you? Hello, everybody. Fine, thank you. It's it's a pleasure. I'm it's fine. Thanks. Okay, awesome. So I'm going to change. I'm going to change here my my camera. So just give me one second. Okay, no problem. Change All right. your thumb. Huh? And your thumb. <laughs> hey, guys, I don't know if you can uh, listen to me clearly. I can listen very well. It's okay. Yes. Yes. It's so clear. Oh, it's sorry. okay. So clear. Yes. Clear. That's really, really. That's beautiful. That's beautiful because it's clear. All right. We had to get the best. We had to get the best. All right. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for this. The camera Hello? is so close. Hello? The camera is so close. The camera, yeah. The image is is more than big. It's bigger? It's bigger. It's better. It's better, right? Yeah. So that's why I, I changed the camera. So you'd be like more comfortable, right? So that's the point. And also- See the difference. Oh, there is a difference. Okay, cool. That's cool. So guys, I would like to know about your, your day. How was your day? Como ha estado ese día hoy? Cuénteme, tell me, how was your day? Um, what do you do? What you didn't do if you work? The climb is so very hot. The, the weather, ah, oh, the weather is was, the weather. was hot, right? Yeah, so sad. Sometimes the weather is very, very, you know, very difficult, it's annoying. You see, like a little irritated because it, it, it's so, it's so hot. What do you say, sudar? Sweet, like sweating, sweating, sweet. I sweat so much this day. <laughs> But it, okay, I imagine so, so, so much, very, very, very much. <laughs> oh my god so it, yeah it's it's an uncomfortable because it's like you know to be exposed this one we need to take a shower many times during the day uh take a shower uh, many times in my job don't don't the possible <laughs> there is not a possibility <laughs> no possibility okay no possibility. okay yeah Okay, we have 13 members in the class. Wow, that's a group record. Is, that's impressive. Tenemos, eh, bien, 12 participantes. Muy bien, ya vamos a pasar la asistencia. Así que los demás vayan poniéndose cómodos. Hidrátense ahí. The water, eh, you know, to be in a comfortable position, in a comfortable place, and do what we have to do, right? So in my case, I am in a very comfortable place. And because we're going to be here the two hours and you know, sometimes the position is really important. Así que la posición tiene mucho que ver también con la motivación de lo que hagamos de nuestras clases. Entonces, eh, mi consejo es ese. Que si tengo un lugar cómodo, no tan cómodo, si no se nos va a dormir ahí, ¿verdad? Así que ahí, ahí nos arriesgamos. Ahí después oímos que alguien está ahí roncando. No, está meditando en la clase. No va a decir, ¿verdad? No vaya a ser ahí, ¿no? Y que y oímos que alguien está roncando, no, no, está meditando la clase. That's, eso es lo que vamos a decir. That's very good to say in the process. All right, so anyone who would like to talk about your day, alguien que nos quiera comentar cómo han estado. Por aquí tenemos, vamos a ver quiénes tenemos aquí. Eh, Eli, Ana, Ana Lilian, muy bien. Tenemos a Brenda, Brian, Christian, José Arnoldo, José Rodrigo Hernández, Karen. Eh, Marisol, eh, Mauricio Enrique, Mauricio Rivera, tenemos a Omar también, eh, Zaira, tenemos a Wendy y a Jenny. Muy bien, solo cracks tenemos aquí en esta clase, otro nivel. Esto es más fácil con estos nombres que tenemos aquí. 
es más fácil dar clases, en serio. <ríe> Así que, we're going to start. ¿Qué dicen? ¿Iniciamos? Yes. Ok, okay. let's go. Let's start. Why not? Ok. Yes. yes. All right, let's do let's it. Start. Let's just start a class now, but before we start, I got a problem. No hay ningún problema. Y quiero que ustedes me ayuden con eso. I got a problem. Eh, por eso estoy serio. Necesito. <laughs> ya, ya ven, ya ven. Necesito que me digan de qué se trató eh, la clase el día de ayer. So, what was the class about yesterday? What was the class about yesterday? So, can you help me? Can you remember me? What were we discussing in the class? What were we talking? The use how many and how much. Okay. Explain me that. Uh, what is that? What is uh, uh, how much and how many? How, what is that? Um, I know. How, 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 on, how often do you in vacation? Uh, how often do you have vacaciones? Cada cuánto? Ah, yeah. ah, ok, great. Ok. Pueden revisar su material, no se preocupen. Miren, el, ahí tiene ya el, el acordeón de la copia. Miren, ahí está. How, okay. how, many, how many use with plural nouns? With plural how nouns. Much use with singular nouns. Ah, interesting. So that's mean, Jose Arnoldo, that we use. Uh, how how many for plural and countable nouns? Countable uh, nouns. Okay. For example, if I say, uh, if I want to, if I say in Spanish, and I want you to tell me to translate. How many animals are many? there? Ah, okay. And but I need you to help me. Quiero que ustedes sean traductores. Yo no sé cómo se dice en inglés, pero yo quiero que ustedes me digan uh, how do I say in English. Eh, ¿cuántos, eh, ¿Cuántos carros? ¿Cómo digo yo cuántos carros? How many cars can you see? Ok, ah, can you see? Ok, cool. Nice, oh nice. My gosh. Mauricio, cool. It's fine. <laughs> eh, how can I say in English? Eh, eh, ¿Cuánto cuesta? ¿Cuánto cuesta el celular? How much? How much is the phone? How much? So, how much? How much pay? How much? How much How much is the cell? How much is the cell? How much is the cell? Okay. Smartphone. Smartphone. Okay. For example, if I use the word, um, if I use the word, eh, cuánta, eh, cuánta arena? ¿Cómo digo en inglés? Cuánta arena? How much? How is, many uh, sun? How much sun? Ah, how, much? how much sun, much sun? In, the, in the beach? How much sun in the beach? Yes, surf city. Okay. How can I say in English? Um, <laughs> surf city. Cuánto? Eh, cuánta leche? ¿Cómo digo? Eh, cuánta leche? Uh, how, how much? much, much milk? How much, how much milk? milk is... How much milk? How much? Right? In Because the... it's... how much? Cup in the cup. Because it is an, an uncountable, porque es incontable, muy bien. So, eso me, me, me llama mucho la atención, because we're using an uncountable, how many, right? How many box milk? How many box, eh, boxes or milk? Exactly. Yes. Ahí es cuando hacemos un incontable se convierta contable, muy bien. Contable. Uh -huh. Y botellas, dicha. Botellas. ¿Ah? Botellas bottles, de leche. Bottles. 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 This is what we did. This is what we did in the last class. So we were talking about how many, uh, how many animals, balls, plates, cars, children, colors, eggs, and fish games, right? And this is 
uh, countable. And for an uncountable, so we used cheese, effort, harder, hunger, meal, noise, rub, scent, right? So that's why we have a difference about this one. And also we work with uh, figures like uh, how much do they pay? How, how many days do you have in your vacations? How many days are free for you? And also we using some uh, statements, right? And congratulations because you were very good, right? Miren, ya llegamos al final. Ah, pero de la clase anterior. Okay. Muy bien. Ya habían emocionado ahí. Ya llegamos, dice el teacher ahí. Closing. Ya llegamos al final. No, esta es la, la clase anterior. Ok, today we're going to Other talk... level. Other level, ya. O sea, solo viendo ya llegamos al final. Ok. And we're going to start the, the next topic. And I would like to ask you, what are we going to study today? So... I will request um, I will request Omar Francisco for helping me to read the topic. Can you help me, uh, Omar, to read what is the topic of this class today? Uh, what's the topic, Omar? ¿Cuál es el tema? El tema de hoy. No sé, lo pueden ver, eh, lo pueden ver en la pantalla que yo sí en el screen. Yes. Yes. Simple present uh, negative statement. Uh, negative, negative statements. Negative. Negative. Eh, recuerden que el inglés americano es eh, eh, la T en muchas ocasiones suena como, como una R. Por eso es que decimos negative. Better. Negative. 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 Statements. En mm -hmm. cambio en británico, Stay. la T sí suena como T. Oh, it's better, it's fatter, it's maybe broader, negative. Entonces, ahí es donde people say either it's negative or negative. Oh, it's negative right, if you're right. studying American English. Si usted estudia inglés americano, entonces es, eh, usamos la R. Better, father, mother, como the. So in, in Britannico, it's fatted, fatted. So it's like the pronunciation changes, right? But in this case, we focus in American English. Eh, nuestro enfoque es inglés americano. ¿Sí? ¿Está bien? Yes. That's good. Okay, right. that's okay. Okay. All right, that's cool. Bueno, eh, he trabajado también con, eh, con, con clientes... Eh, Británicos es otra historia también, eso es un contexto diferente eh, por el acento. Es como que dijéramos, ok, class, to, oh, we're going to start the class today. It's really important to focus on this part. TV and, and British, right? It's like very soft, so sophisticated. All right. All right. So, eh, Saida, what we will be able to, can you help me to read, Saida, what, what we will be able to? Uh, microphone, uh, we don't need to say that. Chef? Yes. Yes. Talk about financial information and world affairs. Perks. Yes, yes. It, we're talking about financial. Uh, we just, one moment, one moment. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, we're going to talk about this one, about financial information, as we said. We were talking about the money. How much is it? Money, money. People love the money. Do you like the money? Yes. 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 Okay, cool. Yeah. Me too. Me too. I like it. And I like to expend, spend the money too. Okay. So we talk about financial information and work here. Uh, questions about it? Uh, questions about vocabulary? Perks, what is perks? What? What is perks? Uh, and also, uh, for example, some benefits. When you have some benefits in your job, you can well, you can see one example. We were bothering about. 
Eli, y el día de ayer estábamos hablando ahí, este, haciendo una broma con el Libertad, de que le daban un bono de, no sé, de 600, entonces, pero eso <risa> ah, podría pues. entrar. No, claro. Yo estamos... creo que no era broma. ¿Ah? Yo creo que no era broma. Eso. Hazme broma. Ah, vaya. Ah, bueno, no, no sé. Ya no digo nada mejor porque no, que no da cosa, no da envidia. Ay, eh, en este caso, a work perk could be a, a work perk could be a, ben, a benefit that perhaps you have financial benefits. That's why the topic is work perks. That would say in Spanish, beneficios laborales. That is, that is the, 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 the focus about that, right? Okay, continuamos, continuamos. Let's continue. And we have a warm up. <clears throat> Let's start. What are we Let's going start. to do today? And what are we going to do? We're going to socialize the following questions we have here in this process, like the first. Um, how many days a week do you work? How much time do you have to complete your task at work? So I don't know why it's like separate. Sorry. Okay. The two questions that we're going to think about: How many days a week do you work, and how much time do you have to complete your task at work? How much time do you have to complete your task at work? This is like, for example, you have a, a coming time. You start your shift at 7 a.m. Uh, who of you start your job at 7 a.m.? That say me. Who of you start your job at 7 a.m.? ¿Quiénes comienzan su trabajo a las 7 de la mañana? Me. Okay, me. Okay. Okay. Is is a is a formal is an official hour to start? Is the official hour to start? Does anybody yes. start at six? Does anybody start at six a.m.? No. Again, again, comienza a las seis. Start no. at no. Sí, Zaira. Zaira, at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Wow. El que madruga. Ok. Amanece con sueño. Ok, yeah. Pong, póngale, teacher. <risa> ¿En qué trabaja? No, no tiene vacaciones. Gana mucho dinero. Se desvela estudiando con nosotros y madruga a trabajar. O sea que trabaja por hobby, por... por... Por pasatiempo, ¿cómo? Se trabaja mucho para ver si algún día y se estudia mucho para también ver si algún día. Eso. <laughs> yes. Congratulations. Yeah, that's beautiful. that's beautiful. That's beautiful. You inspire me. Definitely. It's good. Me inspira, me inspira. Esa es la actitud. Teacher, no hay muchas opciones. <laughs> yeah, so we have to look for the we have to look for the chances. Okay, we have to look for the chances. Okay. Uh, we're going to make a post because I need to pass the attendant list. So when you listen to your name, you say present. Um, so we go with this. Vamos a ver, vamos a pasar la asistencia. Parece que ya del módulo 2, 3, ya el nivel de inglés va subiendo. Así que ya después, ya ni nos vamos a acordar de español. Muy bien. Y después cuando digan, Spanish. What is Spanish? Ok. Ana Cecilia eh, Martínez. What is that? What is Spanish? <laughs> Ana Cecilia? She's not. I don't speak Spanish, but... <laughs> okay, yeah. Ana Lilian Reyes? Present. Eh, Be Brenda Beatriz Calderón? Present. Eh, Brian Javier Carmona? Brian? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Oh, who's next? Eh, Kristen Ernesto Lazo. Christian? No está Christian. Eh, David Orlando Álvarez. David Orlando Álvarez. No está. Eh, Elia Zael Matut. 
Present. Guillermo Antonio García. Present. Eh, José Arnoldo Mazariego. Present. Eh, José Rodrigo Hernández. Uh, José. Present. Okay, I battle the license, like volume up. Escucho algo suave. Okay. Karen Vanessa. Present. Uh, Marisol Betsania Pacheco. Present. Uh, Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Enrique Garcia. Present. Mauricio Ernesto Gutierrez. Mauricio Ernesto Gutierrez. He's not. He's not here. Mayra Veraliz Moreno. Present teacher. Okay. Omar Francisco Hernandez. Present. Um, Saida Marlene Larry. Present. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present. Um, Jenny uh, Suleyma Santos. Present. And Loida Abigail Robles. Just not, in, she's not there. All right, thank you so much. Okay, let's start. Let's start with this part. Thank you so much. And we go with the first activity. What I want you to do, guys, is to have a time to talk about how many days a week do you work. For example, some people, they work five days a, day, five days a week, like from Monday to Friday or from Monday to Saturdays. Or sometimes you have that different chief. Yeah, like you switch the chief. And also, how much time do you have to complete your task at work? Teacher. Okay, so, yes? Do you say, which, uh, I don't listen the, the other word? How much time do you have, how much time do you have to no, complete do, your task? Do you say, uh, I switch? Switch. Para que se usaría switch ahí? I mean, eh, cuando hay un cambio. Switch significa cambio. Por ejemplo, you switch the schedule. Usted cambia el horario. Entra viernes y sale domingo o trabaja domingo y descansa jueves. So, there are like changes. Uh, son los cambios in, in el horario. Changes in the schedule. Y yo decía la palabra like switch, que significa cambiar también. Son sinónimos. Or synonyms, switch or change. And how much time do you have to complete your task at work? And I, I was saying that you start a chief at seven and you finish your chief uh, at 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. You have a lunch time. Uh, for example, uh, we're going to ask to Karen because I have the opportunity to talk to her and listen about her job. So Karen, uh, how much time do you have to complete your task? What time do you finish your job, uh, Karen? Mm, I finish at 4, 4 45 o'clock. Uh, 4 45. Yes. 15 minutes to 5, okay? And you start at 7. Yes. It's it's a long schedule, right? It's a long schedule. Yes, but I don't assist to my work on Saturdays. Oh, you work from Monday to? To Friday. To Fridays in the same yes. schedule from 7 yes. to 4.45. It's okay. It's good. Very heavy, I think. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Awesome. Awesome, right? So I want you to socialize uh, this information. We're going to work with some breakup rooms and we're going to make small groups. What you have to do, guys, is to talk about that. How many days a week do you work? How much time do you have to complete your task in break? Let me ask to Mauricio Rivera. Mr. Rivera, how many days a week do you work? Uh, seven days. Seven days. What? Seven days. Seven days. Seven days. Really? Seven yeah. days a week? Wow. 
Yes. You don't have a day off? You don't have a Pero... day off? No tiene día libre? Eh, eh, a la quincena sería uh, un... Every 15 days. Um, every. Every 15 days. Every 15 days. Wow. Sí, como es. Every 15 days. Wow. Sí, so, much. Y, wow. So Money. Work. Yeah, but, but he doesn't have a time to enjoy. I mean, he can go to Surf City because he's working the seven days. Re, le rebalsa el canasto. But, <laughs> but Mr. But, but, but this job, it's like... Uh, it, it's like... Él se la quiere desquitar, le digo, porque él sí gana bastante y trabaja menos. No, eso ya es bien personal, ¿verdad? Y ya. Y mire, ve. Mire, ve. Y. 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 Y.
I start my job at 8 a.m. Uh-huh. 8, 8 o'clock or? 8 o'clock or 8 a.m. So you can say 8, 8 p.m. or okay. 8 in the morning. 8 a.m. Okay. How many days? Uh, but in this case, yo le pregunto, how many days? Uh, ¿Cuántos días? Uh, ¿Cuántos días trabaja? How many days do you work? Mm, Five six days, days? Four days? Six, six, six days. days. And uh, Saturday, um, only to, only morning. Only in the morning, okay. Only in the morning. So you say, teacher, I, I start, I work five days. I work uh, six days a week. Oh, six days. Uh, six days from 7 to 4 p.m. And Saturdays from 8 p.m. 8 a.m. to... 11 a.m. or 12 a.m. Entonces, ahí nos, nos, nos comenta su, su horario. Por ejemplo, how much time do you have to complete your task? As Karen y, said. Y si mi horario es, bueno, si son, digamos, partidos en la, la mañana y la tarde, porque, digamos, hey, igual se menciona las cuatro Between. horas. You can check, yeah, you can mention. I have different schedules. Tengo diferentes horarios. Eh, for example, the first one is from six to no, seven. Es que no es diferente. Todo es igual al mismo día. O sea, todos, todos como los días. Pero estoy de ocho a doce y media y de dos a cinco y media. Y, Así se tendría que decir. Y ese lapso es el almuerzo. O, uh -huh. Ah, entonces Correcto. incluyalo. Incluyalo porque, you know, it's part of the job time. So you, you, you don't have to say. Eight, uh, five, five thirty. Yes. Yeah, you can say it. Okay. okay, okay. Y si usted quiere mencionar, if you want to mention that you have two hours recess, dos horas de receso, eh, también lo puede decir para saber que tienes espacio. So, oh. It is, it's, it's optional. Okay. Yeah. ¿Cómo es receso? Eh, recess eh, or break. Recess, okay. Recess oh. or la gente or le llama lunch. ¿Cómo se dice lunch? O lunch. Break. I have a break, but it's like a pequeño receso, a recess. But mejor decir I have lunch. It's more formal. It's like much better. Bien, entonces vamos a trabajar con los grupos. Eh, rápidamente usted comenta su horario, right? So you have the freedom to ask, and I will be monitoring guys that everything is okay, and also if you have any question or doubt. Let's go. Eh, no, porque le estoy preguntando cuántas horas en un día trabaja o cuántas horas diarias trabaja. Serían eight hours. So, how much time do you have to complete? Esa es la pregunta. Espérame, entonces ya me quedé, ya voy. How many days a week do you work? Esa es la pregunta. How okay. many days? How many days a week do you work? Yes. ¿Cuántos días a la semana trabajas? Ajá. Entonces sí, yo me había movido aquí en la... Ya, ya iba en otra... Ya iba adelantado, pero sí, sí. Tiene razón, esa es. Que iba muy adelantado. So very fast, teacher. No, pero ahí estamos. Ya ahí ya, ya la, la pregunta, perdón. Si sí, sería, how many days a week do you work, Mauricio? At five days of week. 
uh, how how much time do you have to complete? Teacher, esa pregunta yo no la entiendo. How much time do you have to complete your task at work? Ah, eh, that's at work. Ah, perdón, perdón. Es, uh, es, es completa. Yes. Eh, yeah, how many times? ¿Cuánto tiempo? So, I can say from 7 to 4.40, I can complete it. So, that's part of the schedule. So, in my case, I have different jobs. But my first job, eh, I, how much time do I have to complete tasks at work? In my case, uh, I start from 7 to 12. This is my the time that I need to complete my activities in my job. Entonces, el tiempo que yo necesito es de 7 a 12 para completar mis actividades en el trabajo. That's the time that I need. Y si, y si no, me, no me alcanzan las horas disponibles para trabajar en el día. <laughs> you can say, uh, you can say, I work from this hour to this one, and I work extra hours. Ahí es donde aplica la palabra extra hours. Extra hours. Okay. Because... Stay with the new one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> se, va, va al se va al trabajo y se lleva el trabajo a la casa. Go oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, extra hours. Extra oh, hours. Se, se responde, teacher. Um, how much time? do you have to complete i i start okay. uh, i start from 7 to 4 30 okay. o puede decir también i complete i complete uh, six hours o también puede decir también las horas si usted quiere Hay muchas formas de decirlo. Si son siete horas, ¿cuántas horas trabaja? ¿Ocho horas? I Ocho horas normalmente. Eight, eight, eight hours. I, eight hours. I, ok, I need eight hours to complete my job. Ok. Yes. I need. Ok, ¿quién inicia? Who starts? Eh... Mauricio, o no sé, yo no sé. Uh, we have Jose Rodrigo too. We don't see you, Jose. We see like. Uh... Okay, uh, Mauricio Rivera. How many days a week do you work? Mauricio, did you listen? Yeah, yeah. Sí, sí, sí. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, okay, yes. okay. Entonces yo comienzo, yo comienzo. José Rodrigo. preguntando. José Rodrigo no, is asking you. No, perdón, es que no sé, él, a él sí no lo oigo. No sé si, si está malo el... Eh, eh, sí, José, se escucha, se escucha muy suave su micrófono. Eh, verifique que tenga the appropriate volume. ¿Se escucha mejor? Yes. Oh, oh, sí, sí. Much yes. better. Yes. yes. Much better. I listen. I listen to the question. Uh, um, se, volvió a, se volvió a ir el volumen, eh, José. Teacher, perdón, entonces yo tengo que completar. Teacher. Yes. Eh, yo tendría que contestarle, I work eh, seven days in the week. Yes, correct. Yes. I work seven days. Uh, you can say seven days in the week or seven, seven days a week. Siete días en la semana, entonces seven days a week. In a week. Ok, ok. Ok, continue with the next question, Rodrigo. 
Hay alguien que tiene. No, no, ah. no lo oigo. No se escucha, no se escucha. Es, eh, creo que quizás el espiga o. Porque vale como. Teacher, perdón, en la otra tengo que contestarle yo. Eh, Ahora, ¿se escucha? Hoy sí, hoy sí, hoy sí. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Yes, hoy okay, sí. La, siguiente, la siguiente question entonces, ¿eh? Ajá, uh, yes, yes. How time do you have to complete our, our task at work? I need I need uh, eight hours uh, in the day, uh, four hours in the morning, and four hours in the afternoon. Okay. Okay, great. Okay, now, uh, Mauricio, you ask the questions. Yes, yes, ask, yes, ask the questions. Uh, how many days a week do you work? Six day, six days in the week, from Monday and Saturday. To Saturday. To from Saturday. Mo from Monday to Saturday. Okay. From Monday to Saturday. All right. Uh, two questions. Uh, how many? How how much time do you have to complete your task at work? I complete nine hours, the 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. Okay, excellent. Thanks. Excellent. Thanks. Continue, guys. Hey, Wendy, how many days a week do you work? I work six days in a week. Okay. How much time do you have to complete your task at work? I work for 8 a.m. at 5.30 p.m. Monday at Friday. In Saturday, work for 8 a.m. at 12.30 p.m. Ahora se los hago yo a Mauricio. Yes. Okay. How many days a week do you work? Mauricio, no se oye. Se le fue el internet. Ya sabía. Ah. I don't listen. No listen. I work six days a week. No. <laughs> no. No, yes. Hoy sí. Yes. Qué, qué conexión más malísima. Yo igual por momentos solo veo que mueven la boca, pero no, no les entiendo nada. Me voy a dar cuestión. Wendy, me voy a dar cuestión. Other question, how much time do you have to complete your desk at work? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I work from Monday to Saturday. I work from Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And Saturday, I work from 8 a.m. to 
12 p.m. The A uh, to 4, verdad? 8 to 4 is the A to 12. 12. Okay. Half, half hour minor. Menos? Menos, ¿cómo se dice? A ver. Menos que yo. <laughs> Yes. Yes, Mauricio. Word eh, minus for, to Wendy. <laughs> y Wendy yes. word minus. to minus for me. Minus to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seguimos ok, si usted le pregunta, a Mauricio. Mauricio. Otra vez. Uh -huh. Oye, Mauricio, a mí. Ok. How many days a week do you work? A mí, ¿vea? O a Brenda. Yo. Ok. <laughs> I, I work six days in a week. Ok. How much time do you have to complete your days at work? I I work for AM to to what? Tengo duda. AM to 5:30 p.m. Monday at Friday. And Saturday, Mo Monday work. to Friday, Monday to Friday, <laughs> to Friday. Oh, thank you. All right, Monday to Friday, and Saturday work for a, a, a. m. to 12 p.m. <laughs> Mañana ni tarde es MD o middle day. Middle, middle, lo voy a poner. Ajá. Middle day. Or more exactly. 12 o'clock. Más, más específico, mejor. Uh -huh. Repite el only, again. Okay. Yeah, repeat, please. I, okay. How, I how much time at, do you have to complete your task at work? I start at eight in the morning. I go out for lunch at 12 o'clock. I go in at 1 p.m. and I go out at 4.30 p.m. and I go home. It's okay. Clear, clear. Okay, Omar Francisco, how many days a week do you work? I work uh, five days in the week. Okay. How much time do you have to complete your tax at work? I start uh, for uh, for for all for for cuatro las cuatro. Eight, no, eight, eight, four. Eight, eight. Oh, uh -huh. perdón. Ocho, ocho. Pucha, con, ocho, ocho. con los cheles en los ojos va a llegar, po. Sí, sí. <risa> Estar eight, nine o'clock. No, no, no. Teacher. Yep. Ah, ok. 
in in the um, in the screen say I need eight hours. What is this? I, I, I wait to answer. So you can say how much time do you have to complete your task. Um, you can say that you can start achieve from this hour to this one. Or you can uh, summarize with eight hours. I need six hours. In my case, I have different jobs. So in the morning, I need uh, six hours to to complete my my task. For example, in my case, I have eight hours per day. Okay. Only only Saturday or or Sunday that I work for hours. Work for hours. But, uh, but I I work eight hours, but I don't need eight hours mm -hmm. for complete my task. I need uh, between five or six hours. The other oh. hours in my work, I... I find others other tasks that are so more uh, easy. My my desarrollo. Uh, develop develop. Uh -huh. My develop in in my area. Oh, the duties or oh, duties. My activities uh -huh. duties. My duties in in my area. Ok. All right. I, I, yo entendí la pregunta de esa manera, pero como eh, comenzamos a poner eh, que comenzábamos a las 8 de la mañana. Y, y, es, son formas, es decir, eh, usted puede contestar de uh, different ways. Yeah, so okay. there, there is not a, a, a one way to do it. So you can say like, well, from, in my case, I start from uh, in the morning from 7 to 7 a.m. to 12 because I have uh, I have three jobs. I have three different jobs. So my first job starts at, at 7 and I finish at 12. Teacher. I need five hours to complete my task. Yes. Teacher, así, como, así, como, así como Mazariego, él, él sí tiene como organizado en el día diferentes tareas. Ahí sí entra lo que es tax. Eh, en, mi, en mi área no tengo como tareas específicas, no que son varias y no tengo como hora específica para terminarlas. Uh -huh. Porque en los deliveries pues usted sale con todos los pedidos y no se sabe a qué hora va a venir o si va a venir temprano. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Entonces, Mazariego, Mazariego sí tiene bien fundamentado eso porque él sí tiene muchas tareas específicas que tiene que empezar desde la mañana a llevar las tipos de glosada. Él sí tiene como la palabra acaba lo que dice aquí, task. Pero en el caso de Eli, es todo diferente o sort of difficult. For, for example, uh, he have eight hours uh, per, per day, but uh, sometimes he need more hours for, for end the deliveries. Mm -hmm. for, for, yes. for, one, for, for, if different, for different days. Yeah, one deliver. Yes. Eh, uh -huh. puede, puede durar entre tres o cinco horas o le, o le dura todo, todo un día o más. Uh, I, I, no es, no es, o sea, el, él tiene mucha razón al decir de que tal vez yo tengo mi, mi, mis tareas definidas, pero las tareas de él no es que no sean menos tareas que, la, que las de otros, pero a veces el entregar uno, dos o tres pedidos le puede llevar hasta, hasta diez horas por... La, la distancia por el tráfico por, por, mucha, por muchas situaciones entonces es bien difícil contestar algo como decir ah, yo, yo trabajo de 8 a 5 uh -huh. cuando a veces puede trabajar de 8 a 8 pues. ok so yeah that's, that could be one example that definitely could be one example you can um, work different hours like you can see here and 
yeah, you say you work extra hours. This is another possible case. And uh, look at this. Look at this. Um, that's what we call extra hours because you have the opportunity to work more hours than expected. Entonces, eso se convierte como en más horas, right? So, it are like more hours in the process. Or okay. sometimes, Eli and, and I, uh, I don't have lunch time, but uh, in this case, uh, we, we receive um, como se dice es lo que nos dan Eli se ya me olvidó la palabra viáticos ah, recibimos viáticos entonces por el tiempo que, que, que no tenemos el, el tiempo de almuerzo entonces como cómo se dice o como podríamos usar ahí eh, bueno uh, if this is a this is a, like a regular schedule. Eso sería como 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 actividades regulares. O sea, además todo una description de lo que ustedes hacen regularmente, no los cambios. So you can summarize that if you have six hours, I work three hours, but sometimes I need extra hours to complete my task. But regularly, okay, porque no es siempre, verdad, sino que es eh, hay variaciones. Entonces no. Viatics, so for example, if you have a viatic, so you can have like a specified, but for the no regular, Biatic. we do it, yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to go Omar. back to the groups. Yes. Uh, bueno, continúen y ya casi vamos a... Okay. Pero vamos a regresar. Okay. Así que, dos minutos más, two more minutes. Teacher, dice... Oh, at 6 a.m., finish 4 p.m. No, creo que respondió otra cosa. <risa> respondió, <risa> respondió otra Era cosa, Marisol, perdón, perdón. Otra vez. Es, I start my job. Perdón. Eh, la, le voy a hacer la primera otra vez. ¿Quién está compartiendo pantalla? Zaira. No, el teacher ya entró al grupo. Oh. Se acordó de nosotros. No, hombre, teacher, nosotros hasta la conversación practicamos con Zaira porque nos sentíamos <risa> olvidadas. No, siga, siga. Eh, ya casi vamos a regresar. Eh, solo estaban haciendo los últimos monitoreos. So. But I see you very active. Está bien, así que está bien. Aquí estoy. <risa> Okay, well, entonces le pregunto nuevamente, how many days a week do you work? Uh, I, I do five days. Five days. Five days. I, I, work, at, I work five days. I work five days. At 6 a.m. finish 4 p.m. And the second one would be, how much time do you have to complete your tasks at work? Um, one day, um, three day. De lunes a viernes. Friday. No siempre varía, puede ser um, de... Wednesday at Wednesday uh, ay se me había olvidado domingo Sunday Sunday varía varía very 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 repeat very 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 Para decir varía. Yes. Very. Very. Mm -hmm. 
Ahora a, a Ana Lilia. Ok, Ana Lilia, how many days a week do you work? Uh, I go from uh, Monday and Monday to Saturday. Okay. And how much time do you have to complete your tasks at work? Uh, Monday to Friday. Uh, from 7 p.m. and finish uh, 4 p.m. Uh, Saturday from 7 p.m. I uh, finish 12 o'clock. Okay. Le pregunto yo, Marisol. Sí, ya completé la, la segunda. ¿La modificó? Sí. How many days a week do you work? I work five and a half days. The Mondays, uh, Saturday. How much time do you have to complete your test at work? I start at 7.30. I finish at 4.30 p.m. with one hour for lunch. De siete y media a cuatro y media, así. Sí. Uh -huh. Con una hora de almuerzo. 4.30. We want her for lunch. Eso último no le comprendí. Eh, con una hora de almuerzo. Ah, okay. With one. A lunch time, hour. right? Okay. Okay, guys, we're back. Eh, what was the practice? ¿Cómo estuvo la práctica? How was the practice? Very interesting. Yes, very interesting. Yes. Yeah, I just, I just feel it too. It's great. I mean, we always uh, clarify some information that perhaps um, it's unknown, or perhaps we have some doubts in. That's the purpose, you know, to have uh, the opportunity to clarify some possible uh, questions we have um, about this. So that's good. That's good. Yes. All right. Let's wait. Everybody is here. Yes. And okay, much better. So we are out now. Okay, so we're going to pass the attendance list the second time. So just uh, be ready and say present, guys, please. Uh, Ana Cecilia Martinez, just not. Eh, Ana Lilian Reyes. Present. Brenda Beatriz Calderón. Present. Brian uh, Javier Carmona. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Christian Ernesto Lasso. It's not. David Orlando Alvarez. David Orlando Alvarez. It's not. No está. It's absent. Uh, Guillermo Antonio Garcia. Y, uh, okay. Uh, Eli Atael. Present teacher. Present, present. Okay. Jose Arnoldo Mazariego. Present. Uh, Jose Rodrigo Hernandez. Present. Um, Karen Vanessa Morataya. Present. Uh, uh, Marisol Betsania Pacheco. Present. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. 
Present teacher. Present uh, teacher. Ok. Yeah, foto, Mauricio. Mauricio Enrique García. <risa> Present. Eh, Mauricio Enrique García, ¿verdad? Eh, Mauricio, yes, present. Ok, Mauricio Ernesto Gutiérrez. Present. Ok, he's here. Um, Mayra Veraliz Moreno. Present. Uh, Omar Francisco Hernández. Present. Uh, Zaira Marlene Larín. Present. Uh, Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present. Eh, Jenny Suleyma Santos. Present. And Loida, that I think he's, he's absent. Okay. Okay, thank you guys for the for the practice. I saw some of you socialize this information. That was good. Uh, by any chance you have any questions, you got the opportunity to talk today and say uh, the, any requests you have. Eh, alguna pregunta que tengan, no sé. Adicional a esta, y no, pues, eh, we continue. Yes, teacher. Ok. Eh, una pregunta. Eh, con Wendy estábamos hablando sobre eh, si llevamos o no la comida. ¿Cómo sería? ¿Cómo, cómo fue que si llevamos? Eh, la comida al trabajo o la compramos. Por ejemplo, Wendy, go, go to lunch. Uh, in your house. In her house. Yes, in her house. Um, pero, ¿qué necesitas saber? What, what? El verbo llevar. Este teníamos duda. Porque lo buscamos, pero no sabía como where. Entonces yo le decía a ella que probablemente era where como llevar o traer algo así, pero ropa. Entonces teníamos ah, duda de cuál usar sí. para comida. Ah, en este comida. caso sería, I'm going to bring my food. Uh, I bring my food. Eh, ah. Llevo mi comida. Uh, I bring my food to the job. Uh, I bring the food to my job, right? Or oh, I bring my lunch. I bring my breakfast. Uh, si usted lleva su desayuno. I bring my, my breakfast. I bring my lunch. So if you cook. That, that can be. Yo tenía duda, teacher, de mm -hmm. cuando va, si digamos, yo trabajo de ocho, por ejemplo, de, de ocho a cinco y media. Entonces, ¿qué preposición usar? ¿Es from a am o, o es for a am? It's from. From. From y six to. to y tú en eso digamos tú five ajá five thirty o whatever ah, okay. ajá de, de, de las siete a las ajá. a las cinco entonces ese tú esa preposición From ajá esa preposición tú okay. es para dar la referencia a que hasta qué horas eh, culmina Ah, okay. Okay. Yes. Porque mi compañera sí decía from, pero yo tenía todavía la duda. Okay, yes, you can say it. Okay, vamos con una conversación. We go with the conversation right now. And we listen to your teacher read the conversation and practice. So what I want you to do is to focus about the following uh, conversation. And I want you to listen first. Quiero que escuche cuidadosamente. Así que microphones, microphones off. Uh, thank you so much. It's between Ben and Jeff. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weeks days. And sometimes on Saturdays, really? Saturdays, do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Extra hour is around $10. Oh, I see. Well, sometimes here is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay, I'm going to read it once again, but I'm going to make a post that you listen to the statement exactly, right, one by one. 
So just listen carefully, please. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weeks days. And sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Bien. Practiquemos la conversación. Usted lo va a ir repitiendo línea por línea. Eh, always eh, just following. Iré marcando acá los espacios. Work. Ok. Así que practicamos una vez el primero. Así que one, two, and three. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Una vez más, una vez más, una vez más. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Okay, numero, numero dos. Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? Ok, vamos con la siguiente. That's great. I work for the week's days and sometimes on Saturdays. That's great. I work for weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Siguiente, siguiente. Really? On Saturdays, do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Ok, siguiente, vamos con la siguiente. Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10.
I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay, all right, so that was great. And I would like to volunteer for helping me to read the conversation. Me. Okay. Ah. Me. me. Me, Wendy. Me, Mauricio. <laughs> oh my God, o only two, first only two, because. Okay, let me see. So, which is work with that? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna work. Ready. Yeah, we're going to work briefly. Uh, let me see. We're going to make the breakups rooms, and we're gonna have exactly five minutes. So because we don't have enough time, so solo vamos a hacer una ronda, one round, eh, de práctica. All right. Así que let's work with this and. Y practice y practica la conversación. That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really, boy, boy. Really? Yeah. On Saturday, on Saturday, do you work extra hours? And uh -huh. how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when and there is too much. Each extra hour is around ten dollars. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. Um, how are How are you doing? I want to ask you. Ask you. How many days a week do you work? Hey Ben. Well, I work five days a week and you that's great i work for good days and sometimes on saturday really on saturdays do you work extra hours and how much money do they pay for each extra hour yes i work is out when there is too much work how many days a week do you work hey ben well I work five days a week, and you? That's great. I work four weekdays, and sometimes on Saturday. Really? On Saturdays, do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hour where there is too much work. To do each extra hour is around ten dollars. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time. Is right. Absolutely. Y este es otro, Mario. ¿De dónde salió? Ni me había fijado que había otro sujeto. Teacher, está. Ah, 
¿no? ya nos está escuchando el teacher. Sí, teacher estaba hablando de que, de que esto de aus, era, así se escribe para decir caballo también, ¿verdad? H-O-U-R, No, no, caballo es horse. Oh. Horse. Horse. Yes. ¿Cuál es la diferencia acá? Eh, pero qué, pa qué palabras qué pa es, ah, ah, hour hour hora ajá extra hour, hour. hour. extra hour yeah. hour hour, hour. hour. O sea la o, hour. la o suena hour. como a entonces hour 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 hour, hour. 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 yeah six hours y la otra que decía sometimes Sometimes, yes, sometimes. sometimes. Yes. Bueno, compañero, empiece. Empiezo. Sí. Bye. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you have? Maybe. Well, I work five, five days, a, five days a week, and you. That's great. You work for a weekday, and sometime on Saturday. A reality, on Saturday, do you work extra, extra? Ya se me olvidó, teacher, ¿cómo es? Hours. Hours. Oh. Hours. 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 Do you work extra hours and in how much money? Do they, do, do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Eggs, extra hours is around ten dollars. I see, I see well. I see well. Sometimes there mm -hmm. is not much time. Right. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Antes que me conteste, compañero. Right. Okay. I see. Right. I, I see well. Sometimes there is not, is not much timing. Right. Much time. Right. Okay. Much time. Right. 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 Huh? Absolutely. Ahora, Absolutely. 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 Mm -hmm. Absolutely. 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 Okay. Jeff, how are you doing? Para me meter en blog. Jeff. How mm -hmm. are you doing? I want to ask it, ask you how many days a week a week a week you how many days a week you work?
microphone. Hello. Teacher, microphone, I don't, I, I can hear you. Yes, uh, well, we're reading, okay. we're, we're, we're reading the conversation. And also, and we just have a practice about the conversation. And uh, congratulations for those with the practice. And we are going to move to the next activity. And I want you to help me to answer the following points. First, and circle the word that best completes the equation. How much or how many hours a day do you work? What do you think is the answer, guys? How much or how many how hours? Many? How many? How many? How many? Okay, because we can count them. Because we can count the hours. Because this is countable. Excellent. Number two, how much or how many do they pay per hour? How much? How much? How much? How much? Exactly, how much, all right? So we could say that the number one is how many and the number two is how much, okay? Okay, uh, look at this structure. It's a kind of backup. It's como un pequeño review. Eh, siempre del contenido que vimos en la clase anterior. We use how many, how, how many for countable nouns. Countable nouns, hours, days, weeks, years, etc. How many days a week do you rest? How many hours a day do you work? So it's exactly how many for things that we can count. Two days, two hours, three days, four days, five weeks, two years, three years, four years, right? And also we have how much for an uncountable, uncountable nouns. Tenemos countable y uncountables. Escuchen la pronunciación. Countable. Uncountable. Eh, y que no uncountable. se puede... Uncountable. Y que no se puede contar money el time no se puede encontrar. So we cannot. Y tenemos el ejemplo, how much Teacher. money do they pay per extra hour? How much time do we have? So you can see how much time do we have? ¿Cuánto tiempo tenemos? So we cannot count. How, uh, how much money do they pay per extra hour? Entonces podemos ver que how many es para cosas que podemos Teacher. contar. ¿Sí? Eh, con Marisol de Tzana Pacheco tenemos una media duda, pero algo irregular, ¿verdad? Conforme a how many, how much, pero how, por money, por money. Porque, ¿por qué no es contable en el aspecto? Porque si yo hago una pregunta con how money, porque no sé cuánto dinero tiene usted. O cuánto dinero tiene el presidente, o cuánto dinero hay en el banco, o cuánto dinero hay en todo el mundo. Qué bárbaro el específico. Para mí el dinero sí es contable. Bueno, en el caso de Lee no, porque ni sabe cuánto tiene. <risa> es que miren, es que miren, la palabra es con, la palabra money es muy general, es una palabra eh, hablamos de dinero, es una palabra eh, no sabemos cuánto dinero hay, entonces se convierte en un incontable, pero cuando nosotros contamos mm -hmm. billetes mm -hmm. El billete ya se vuelve contable. Tengo cinco billetes acá. O monedas, por ejemplo. Yo puedo contarlas. Entonces, eh, tenemos lo que es. Eh, siempre se ocupa how much money do they pay. Entonces, ya es algo establecido de la, de la estructura gramatical. Que usted no puede preguntar por eh, how many. Sino que es how much money do they pay. Y a usted dice, well, um, I have to pay $30, $40. Entonces, eh, los dólares sí se pueden contar. La palabra dólar, 200 dólares, es, es, esa palabra en sí es contable. Uh -huh. Pero money es too big, es 
muy grande para, eh, que se comía muy importante. Parecida a la explicación que usted daba de la leche, por decir sí. algo. Sí. Ajá, exacto, exacto. Yes. Dice, por ejemplo, si en español dijera cuánto dinero hay en estas, en estas monedas. O sea, ah, hablando cuánto, de un grupo específico. ¿Cuántos ¿no? dineros? Eh, ¿Cuántos dineros? No se puede. ¿Cuánto dinero? ¿Cuánto Porque dinero? Ajá. ¿Cuánto dinero? Ajá, entonces, ¿Cuánto dinero? Se convierte en una palabra. ¿Cuánto incontrable? dinero hay en estas monedas? Exacto. Teacher, teacher, perdón. Ahí está. Teacher, perdón. Y cuando se pronuncia la palabra cash, entra igual a, a ese mismo punto. Ajá, cash es, es incontable, es efectivo. Entonces se convierte en un, una palabra abstracta. Cash, efectivo. Ajá, es incontable. How much okay. cash? It's How much clear. cash? Thank you so much. All right. Vamos con unos ejercicios. Eh, vamos a completarlos. Para eso vamos a utilizar el chat. Eh, para ir escribiendo acá, next to me. Y, por ejemplo, dice, fill in the blanks. Eh, with how much or how many? Eh, water do you drink? ¿Cuál podemos usar? How much or how many? How much? How much? much. How much. Ok, number two. Número dos. Eh, how many or how much? How many? How many? How many? How many? How many rooms are there in your house? Ok. Uh, number three, what do you have for a number three? How many? How much? How many? How much for the time? How? Oh. time. Number three? Chocolate. How Chocolate. many chocolates have yes. you got? Chocolate. Si quiere, hacer, si quiere hacer contable la palabra, usted puede decir how many bars Bar. of chocolate. Uh -huh. oh, bar. Ya bar de barras. Eh, número cuatro. Pero como está ahí, sería how, how much. How much. Uh -huh. how much. Yes. Número how cuatro. Much. Number four. How many exercises? How much. How, how much? much? How much or how many? Mm. How, how many exercises? How much? How si, no llevara ese, how much? si no llevara esa S fuera fuera incontable en este caso son ejercicios como referentes a rutinas how many eh, si, si no fuera contable no habría necesidad de llevarla a esa sería solamente singular ok, number five eh, money entonces ese, ese cuál es el ejercicio y ahorita vamos en el 5 en el 4 Ah, es how many. No, no entendí si era how many. How many. Yes. Uh -huh. eh, okay. aquí, en, aquí en el chat. Porque se puede encontrar la rutina, como ¿verdad? Rutina. Ajá, como oh. rutina. Aquí en el, chat, en el chat estoy poniendo las respuestas para que ustedes las. No sé si las pueden ver. Ah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Eh, number five, eh, how much or how many? So much. So how, much. Much. How, much. how much. How much. How much. How much. How much. Yes. How much. Money the... is there in, in the safe. Number six. Number six. How much? How many? How many? How many? How many? Is is it number six. How many? How many? How much? The number six. Se puede contar no, la how much? How much in the bar? ¿Cuántas leches? <laughs> no se puede. So how much, right? Number seven. How much? Yes. <laughs> number how seven. How much? How many? How many? Sí, porque se pueden contar los alumnos. Yes. Aquí habemos casi 20. I, I have almost 20. Number eight. Eh, cassettes. How many? How many? Cassettes ya no hay. Ajá. Ninguno ya no existe. How many? How many cassettes have to go? <laughs> ok. Eh, lemons. How many or how much? ¿Cuál de los dos? How many? How much? How many? How much? Yes. How many? How many? Se pueden contar por How many? Lim lemons. Yes. Lemons no le si digo lo, nada. Teacher, <laughs> ¿y, si lo, ¿y si lo ve del palo, teacher? Que está ah. cargado. Ok. 
Baja con tal cuando baja bajar, con el tal cuando tal cuando necesita. Cargue, cae. Por lo menos Mauricio no me está viendo los pies ahora. Ok, número 10. Number 10. Uh, How, much? Uh, How much? How much? How much? How much? Yes, How super. Much? Yes, we teacher, got it. Perdón. Teacher, perdón, este, la 10. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Mermelada. 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 Gracias, teacher. All right, cassettes, lemons, students. Ok, How vamos much? con la siguiente. Vamos con la siguiente because we are like trying to focus about the following exercise. Eh, y seguimos con el siguiente, the next exercise. You help me. Attractions. Read the sentence and fill in the blanks with many or much. Eh, ¿Cómo sería la primera? How will be the first How one? Much? How, How much? much? How much money is in a bank? How much? How, How much? How much money? Okay. Uh, number two, paper. How um, many paper? How many? How many? How many? How many? Uh, pero si fuera contable. No, hojas. Sería si fueran paper. hojas y de ahí how much. En este caso es how much. Exacto. How much? How much? How much paper does a printer need? Yes. Okay. ¿Por qué es how much? Perdón, no entendí. Porque si fuera plural, tendría que ser papers. En este ah. caso, aquí representa un, un no Uno, contable. Solo. Sí, solo. ¿Cuánto okay. papel? Uh -huh. Let's go here. Eh, hour, vamos con hour. How many? How many? How many hours a day does he work? Number four, mm -hmm. information. How much? How much? How much? How much? How much? How much information is on the internet? Is abstract. Good. Okay. Number five. Days a week. How many rest? How many? How, How many? many days? How, How many? many days? Yes, it's countable. Uh, employees. How many? And, and How, many? How many? How many? How many employees does your company have? So that's okay. And we have the last activity. Uh, we have the last activity. And you had to write a six line paragraph about the events and activities you and one coworker do in your company. So this is what you had to do. Think about what activities uh, you do in your company. Um, if you remember, uh, Time ago, we have been talking about the activities that most of the time you do. Usted va a escribir acerca de estos eventos o actividades que usted hace en su compañía. Ya la mayoría de ustedes en, en el nivel anterior me expusieron. Eh, you're exposed about the activities que hacían hasta la hora en que hacían las cosas. Hoy ustedes van a volver a crear eh, a través de un pequeño párrafo las actividades que ustedes hacen en su compañía. Y hemos visto esto, eh, lo vimos en varias sesiones. Entonces, eh, vamos a comenzar. We're going to start eh, uh, talking about what activities do in your company. At seven, I check the report, I answer the phone calls. I answer the emails, I monitor the, the sales, I check the incomes of the company, I have a meeting, I have lunch at this time, we uh, monitor the sales, the outcomes and incomes. Si usted comienza a describir qué es lo que usted hace en su trabajo, what activities you do in your company. So for this, you have the time to think about these activities. If you have the material about the last classes, if you have the material from the module anterior, there you also have, well, if you have your notebook, there you also have the notes. And if you have any questions that you have, you can ask about it. 
Teacher. Yes. How can I help you? ¿Cómo se diría? Eh, yo tengo, tengo que rezar. Uh, ¿Se escuchó cortado? ¿Cómo fue? ¿Cómo se diría? Tengo que realizar. Realizar. Eh, ¿Qué tendría que eh, ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más le va a agregar a la palabra? Realizar en mi trabajo. I have to do. I have to do. I have, I have to do. To do. Realizar. Eh, do. I have to do. I have, I have to do in my job. Okay. <laughs> No. How are you going? Uh, almost? So, so, como vamos? Finish. Finish, all right. Uh, we're going to do something. Vamos a compartir, vamos a compartir eh, en el grupo esta información. Le tomo una fotito y la comparte al grupo. So we can check some information there. Al grupo de WhatsApp. So you take a picture about the paragraph and you work in that. Eh, ¿Quiénes más? ¿Quiénes más ya terminaron? ¿Quiénes terminaron ya? Besides Lee. Finish. Finish. Because me write in in notebook. In your notebook. Okay. Great. <laughs> Okay, Guillermo, finish. No, le decía como quería que le tomaran una foto. Sí, le tomo una foto y la... Yes. You, you. Oh. Aunque tenga un montón de manchas. Aunque tenga manchón. Que sea <risa> entendible, que se entienda para que podamos tener ese... Yeah. Bueno, usted juzgue mi letra entonces. Pero le entiende a usted de leer, la verdad. Ah, yo sí. Ah, vaya. A veces. <laughs> ok, ok, eh, terminaron los demás, Omar. Yes, ok, vamos a hacer el último breakup room y vamos a leerlo eh, así como lo tengamos. Por este tiempo ya no nos da. So the time is actually going. And vamos a compartir en este momento what information you have. So eh, don't worry, it's like, you know, teacher, I wanted to add more details, but. No se preocupe, lo importante es que lo podamos, eh, que lo podamos eh, socializar y que los compañeros tengan la idea. They have an idea about what activities most of the time you do in your job, right? So we're going to see and two and three. Okay, let's, let's go. Así que vamos a, vamos a los breakup rooms y tenemos... 
five minutes. Most five minutes to do it. O menos. Y comparte la información. cosas que no sé que no sé si están bien escritas. Sí, sí, yo igual. Pero bueno. ¿verdad? bueno, pero lo estamos intentando. Hay que nos corrija. <ríe> Correcto. Sí, porque yo, caja chica, no me acordaba cómo se pone. Y caja chica, sí. les... box. Sí. Ah, y lo acaba sí. de dar. Ay, no, qué pecado. <ríe> Ay, no. Ahora sí. Me está mandando todo el mundo, lo está mandando. Sí, me lo mandaba. Oh, no. Me da pena. Está horroroso. ¿Qué? Bueno. Ok, ok. Uh, are you ready? ¿Cómo uh, estamos? Eh, la, las ideas que tienen. So, what ideas do you have? Eh, yo primero. Okay. In my workplace, sí. I supervise the staff say, write reports, check emails, monitor the sales indicators, assign the sales goals. No sé si se pronuncia goals, metas. Goals. goals. Yes. Goals. Uh -huh. Yes. I do little market research, call clients make promotions and attend meetings with the boss, clients, or co-workers. Wow. Amazing, amazing. First, the information is good. And also, you do a lot of things. That's very impressive. Congratulations. Super bien. Increíble. Thank you. Right. Mando la foto. <laughs> OK, uh, next. Jenny? <laughs> ah, yo lo tengo bien feo, pero bueno. Estamos Call clients aprendiendo. send emails, <laughs> sell travel tickets, make hotel reservation, make the camera ho reservation. Hotel reservation, hotel. 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 Yes. Hotel reservation. Uh, make the camera reservation, uh, print boarding pass, make visa formulary or formulary, uh, make checks, administration or caja chica que no recuerdo cómo se decía. Petty cash, petty cash. Depositar en el banco, igual no sé. ¿no? Deposit. Tenny, Tenny, ¿verdad? P petty cash. Eh, ahí está en el chat, ahí está en el chat. ¿Dónde, dónde, dónde, dónde? Thank you. Penny. Penny cash. Petty, petty cash. Petty cash. Yes, petty oh, cash. Petty. Yes. Petty cash. Okay. Cash. Depositar en el banco. Deposit. De Deposit. Pero no sé. Deposit. Deposit in bank. In the bank. Le va a ir todo manchado. Bueno, deposit in, bank, in the bank. Eh, make formulary. Make formulary for. Uh, I mean, formularies. Uh, migratory assessor. Accessory. Accessory. Migratory accessory. 
accessory, mm -hmm. migratory accessory, uh -huh. uh, print tickets, eh, no sé, hacer publicidad en social media. Ok, publicity in social media. Wow, you do everything, you do all of this. Wow, that's awesome too. A very awesome curriculum. Congratulations. I was impressed you. You did a great job. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Congratulations. Okay, so I'm going to another room. Okay. No, eso mismo pensamos. Presentar. Uh, your activity era you clean the desk, you clean the computer, you organize a people, you sing a boat, uh, a band transaction, everything. Sin era uh, yes. uh, your, your chair the band. Uh, Check the cost, the cost of material. Ma materials, and, materials. Ah, uh, mate uh, sorry, material, and that to pay. In my case, how do you say? Okay, I got a shibor at six, uh, <laughs> Mauricio, te lo acabo de leer. Sí. Teacher, 6 y 30 es 6. Eh, pero. 30. 30. Ok. 6.30. Ah, ok, ok. Es el número. Ok. 6.30. Está en. At 7. At. The star order document check the system before uh, launch. I take my lunch, yes. Uh, go so to the city. bank. Mm -hmm. Then I go to the bank, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. The final book, review the document, I uh, check email. Yes. Yes. Teacher. Hello. A mí, me, a mí me mandó solita y yo me regresé. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, cuénteme. Tell me what, what do you do? Uh, tell me eh, your paragraph. Léame su paragraph. Ya, ya envié la foto al WhatsApp. Ok, compártanos su, su perro. Ah, ya lo envió, ya lo vi, ya lo vi. Ok, ok. Ajá, ya lo tengo acá. Ok, ok. Vamos a por. Vamos, bueno, dígalo, dígalo. I have, I have to do my video. I come back. Eh, hable un poquito más fuerte porque casi no se le escucha. Eh, se le escucha bien suave. Extra, extra help sometimes. Okay, extra help. Sometimes. Attend provider check of service of the Western. Okay. Hasta ahí lo había hecho. No sé si right. Yeah, it's it's okay. It's okay. So you get like uh, the most important details, mm -hmm. como lo más importante. Muy bien. Vamos a pasar la asistencia. Yo creo que ya todos teacher, están acá. Teacher. Vamos a pasar así. 
Solo déjeme leerle esto a Mauricio, por favor. Eh, voy a pasar la asistencia por el tiempo. ¿Y qué, qué es? Ah, va. ¿Es de la clase? Ah, lo que... Sí. Era de la clase, pero ya me ahuevó. <risa> ya sabía yo. <risa> Dele la lista, teacher. Ah, no, eso es Bien, vamos a pasar la asistencia. Quedó grabado. No sé qué están ahí hablando. Bien, vamos a. We're going to pass the attendance list. Eh, ya vi la información, ya varios están mandando su párrafo y eso es bueno también porque así podemos darle como un review about what you're doing. Así que ya nos pasamos, ya les estoy robando tiempo. Eh, Ana Cecilia Martínez, no, Ana Lilian Reyes. Present. Eh, Brenda Beatriz Calderón. Present. Ryan Javier Carmona. Present. Eh, Kristen Ernesto Lazo. No está. David Orlando Álvarez. Yeah. Elia Tzael Matut. Present. Guillermo Antonio García. Guillermo Antonio García. He doesn't sound. Eh, José Arnoldo Mazariego. Present. Eh, José Rodrigo Hernández. Present. Karen Vanessa Morataya. Present. Marisol Betsania Pacheco. Marisol Betsania Pacheco. Eh, Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Present teacher. Mauricio Enrique García. Present. Eh, Mauricio Ernesto Gutiérrez. Present. Mayra Veraliz Moreno. Present. Omar Francisco Hernández. Present. Eh, Zaira Marlene Larín. Present. Uh, Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present. Jenny Suleima Santos. Present. Okay, guys, thank you so much for the class. So I took more, more time than expected, but I really appreciate the effort you make for this. Uh, you can check also the information in the WhatsApp that can be helpful. If you want to share the information about your paragraph, you can send an audio too. Ya que también el WhatsApp nos permite para poder compartir información. Si usted también lo quiere hacer ahí, también puede mandar el audio por si lo quiere compartir para todos. Así que gracias a todos. Eh, hoy me quedo, creo, en reunión con Brian. Brian, Brian. ¿Es Brian there? ¿Está Brian por acá? Mm, creo que no está. Creo que se salió después de que le pasó lista. ¿Y por qué contestó? Entonces... Sí, en dado caso que no se conecte, ¿alguien quisiera reemplazar a Brian? ¿Me? Ok, sir. Ok, guys. Thank you so much and have a beautiful night, everybody. Ok, teacher. Good night. 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 No sea chique, Eli. <laughs> Ay, qué malo son ustedes, cómo molestan al compañero. Solo le iba a decir que le gusta la soda. Oh. Ok, guys. Thank you. Bye, bye. Ok. Bye. Ok, hello. hello José, José. Hi. José, eh, congratulations because you're doing a great job. So eh, it's very interesting what you're doing, your effort, your sacrifice in the class. Eh, I can see that you are doing a great job. So congratulations because your English level is like growing. Every time it's growing, it's improving. You understand different things, your vocabulary. So it's very good. So thank you. And how do you feel uh, about this second model, the second level? How do you feel about it? I'm so excited. Uh, uh, for a moment, I think uh, make the, the the test for for other model, but I think 
that I start with zero. I know a little, but I I remember may uh, sometimes things uh, that I I don't remember, but uh, help me to to grow ground ground up uh, every day. This module, uh, when I say to start, uh, I'm so excited. I I have great expect, uh, expectation for for me. I I was learn eh, lo más que pueda cada vez que, que the best I can the best I can eh, I I think that I prepare for I I am prepared for for this eh, reto challenge <laughs> challenge for, for challenge and every day I effort for be a, a better. I strive. I strive. Uh -huh. I try for a better every day and be a, a, a little taller. A, a little challenge. Just strive. Mira el chat. Look at the chat. Look yeah, at the challenge. chat. Just strive. Yeah. Strive is esforzarse. Yeah, try. So sí. Just try to to work in the process. This uh, this month, my 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 vocabulary is is most expansive. Uh, I I I feel uh, that every day I I learn uh, uh, a little more. Okay, so you can, yeah, you can learn a lot. And I feel really excited to you because you have the opportunity in, to improve. In the Spanish? Yeah, so it's good. And I feel good. Me, me siento bien porque, bueno, usted ya, ya puede, ya se comunica en inglés. You can communicate. Yeah, you establish a conversation and you go with this process with the basic. But... Uh, perhaps there is something that calls my attention. Algo que me llama mucha atención es que a pesar de que podría aplicar a un a otro modelo, creo, eh, you want to like get a foundation. And that is important. Tener una base desde el principio. El problema es que muchas personas quieren ir saltando. They want to jump levels. Pero hay muchas cosas, hay muchos vacíos, emptiness, emptiness, and they need to like fulfill to have a very a strong English. Porque hay mucha gente que puede hablar, pero cuando habla uh -huh. hay dice tres errores y dos cosas buenas. Entonces es mejor ir step by step, pero va va a acabar con las cosas, va diciendo las cosas bien, estructuradas, despacio, como usted lo acaba de hacer, you know, go step by step, trying to speak using proper grammar, using vocabulary, so you work in that, and this is actually valuable. This is what I'm looking for. So I think that it's going to be a great opportunity to you to to continue, uh, Jose, and I can see your progress. I'm very satisfied. And also, besides, well, I know that your this level is like a little easy to you. I can feel it. I, I can feel it. So I just think that we can um, learn more as you're doing. So for me, it's a great satisfaction to have you in this course because you can push other guys as a coach. You help them. You assist them. That's awesome. So congratulations. Uh, hay algo que no sé que quisiera alguna duda que tenga o algo sobre el contenido. Creo que no, porque pues you don't have problems with that, right? Así que eh, no sé alguna inquietud. No, uh, only in our in our first interview, I say to you that uh, I am a, a person that. I, I like it, help other, other person, other people. Other people, help people, mm -hmm. yes. And with I, if I can, I, 
I try to to teach or coaching. Eh, sí, yo no tengo dudas sobre este módulo, o sea, y cuando las tengo se las se las hago, se las externo. O sea, yo trato y, y, y me decía Mayra en el trabajo, usted no necesita ya este módulo, usted este, ya va avanzado, usted ya está listo. Y yo le digo, no, o sea, créame que de verdad, yo cuando digo que estoy aprendiendo cada día, no miento cuando digo que aprendo cada día, porque cada día algo nuevo o algo que ya se me haya olvidado. Yo, ah, sí, esto, aquí, aquí complementa. Y como usted dijo, voy step by step, eh, es, eh, building my, my, eh, vocabulary. Vocabulary eh, or knowledge. Vocabulary. My knowledge. The, Your knowledge. The, uh, also. Eh, yo no, no, no quiero como, no sé si, 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 si usted lo, lo ve, pero yo no quiero que, que alguien piense que yo me creo más o, 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 o soy el mejor. No, o sea, yo siempre voy a, a participar. A veces, a veces no me gusta que la gente no participe porque yo digo, o sea, los que se retrasan son ellos. O sea, yo voy a seguir haciéndolo. Si, si se molestan porque yo participo, o sea, lo siento, o sea, la oportunidad usted la abre y, y participa el que quiere, yeah. Entonces, el, el, que, el que quiere avanzar. Entonces, yes. Y por eso Personal. yo le digo a los compañeros, a veces la práctica dura la mitad del tiempo y la otra mitad del tiempo quizás la uso más para, para dar motivación. Ok. Entonces, para, para decirles que no, que no se cansen. Créanme, yo soy bien sorprendido, yo dije, si, si Ana Lilian... Si Ana Lilian, que vino con muchos temores y muchas inseguridades, ahora se escucha totalmente diferente. Yo, sólida, ¿no? más sólida, y, yes. Eh, eh, al comienzo de este segundo módulo, yo dije, ¿qué pasó con Ana Lilian? Se transformó. Entonces, y personas como Guillermo, que tal vez ya iban muy avanzados, y, y tal vez pensaron que, ah, ¿para qué sigo? Yo tal vez pude encajar en ese grupo de los para qué sigo, pero como le dije al principio de, de, la, de esa entrevista, yo quiero, yo quiero llegar hasta el TOEIC o hasta el TOEFL. Hasta TOEFL. Y, yeah. TOEFL. Ajá. Sure. Y yo, tu, yo he tenido como seis oportunidades de trabajar en call center para inglés y nunca he quedado simple y sencillamente porque aunque yo lea y aunque yo entienda y aunque yo tenga buena, buena escritura, el construir es lo que me ha detenido a mí ahorita. Yo pienso que después de esto no se me van a abrir una, se van a abrir un, un montón de puertas con respecto a, a call center. No, yo no digo que call, el call center va a resolver la vida, pero, pero si hay una oportunidad de, de, de ganar más, pues, o sea, hombre, bienvenido. All right, that's important. Uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, I really appreciate for your effort and keep it at work is hard. I know that you can do it. It's a process. I mean, it's not a learning from night to day. No de la noche a la mañana es un proceso y lo importante es seguir and don't stop. Y el, y, el, y el aprendizaje se va haciendo bastante más práctico con el tiempo. Así que le agradezco Thanks mucho. For Muchas Thanks gracias. For Thank you for this opportunity too. I really, I'm really glad to have you here because you can help others. You can help yourself. You can help me. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, have a beautiful, okay. have a beautiful night. And see you tomorrow in the class. You too, I see you. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.